Childersburg, Alabama on Highway 280. David McCurley along with Greg Wyckoff. And uh, just like to thank Greg and Carla Bates for letting us uh, come up today and, and, and promote this wonderful business that they have established here. And also, uh, it gives me great pleasure uh, to introduce a guy that, uh, that I've, I've heard on the radio several times. And I've been doing this for 20 three some odd years and ever since I graduated from high school and I don't know that I've ever uh, had the opportunity to interview anyone like Saran and Stacey but welcome in sir. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you know, your playing days at Alabama were, were something uh, to behold and uh, I know you probably get asked this an awful lot but uh, what is the biggest thing that you take from your playing days at Alabama? What, what, what holds in your memory the most? Well, it's just the, the time that I've run out on that field in that place in Jersey. You know, it is such uh, it's such an honor to, to play for a story program like the University of Alabama. And I can, you know, growing up in Alabama, dreaming about playing for Coach Paul Beverly when I was eight years old and then finally living out that dream, you know, when I was age 20. Uh, you know, that's what I carry away, you know, with me. I don't... Not so much of all the, the accolades or the trophies or the MVPs of the, the stuff that, you know, individual awards. It's team, you know, the players, you know, my friends, you know, the, the Kevin Turner's, the, you know, Greg, I mean, Gary, Gary Hollinsworth, Stacey Harrison, and, and so forth. Martin Houston, you know, just this time that we shared out there on the playing surface. It, it, these are the things that you carry. Along, I have carried along just you know for the rest of my life, and I know that several of them, if not all of them, visited you in the hospital and were there for you uh, after this terrible tragedy that you have gone through. And I got to ask you first off how your daughter is doing. Shelly is doing good by the grace of God and by so many people reaching out and praying for all of us. And so all of you that can that that prayed for me even now. Thank you so much because I, you wouldn't be listening to me or I wouldn't be sitting here uh, at this at this time in my life. It's just it's about people praying and reaching out. And so I'm so thankful. And Shelly is in second grade now. She is uh, she's growing up. You know, she's taking violin lessons and, and she's a little girly girly. She asked me the other day, she's like, Daddy, I want to go get my uh, my toenails painted and uh, <laughs> paint my paint, you know, that I look, I can't do that stuff. You <laughs> know, and so I, I just look at her, you know, like, I, I don't, I, you did not just ask me that, okay? <laughs> but she's doing great. Right that's that's good. Well, I know uh, I go to church in, in, in Sylacauga and I know that our Sunday school class and our entire church is praying for you. And, and these folks know me as well. I'm a big Auburn fan. But I'm also a oh, very, yeah, but I'm a very big Saran <laughs> Stacy fan, and, and I'm just glad that God has brought you to this point, and you are a walking testimony. And tomorrow you're going to get a chance to share that testimony yes, here. Yes, yes. I'm here. Uh, going to be at Grace Baptist Church in the morning at 10:30. If you, uh, you want to come in, you, you have a church uh, that you're going to, or that's fine. But we don't have a church that you're not a member of, and you want to come and. Hear my testimony, hear a word that God has placed upon my heart. Please come because uh, I'm really, uh, even the time that I've been here with Greg and, and, and Carly uh, here at Bama, where it's just been every every moment that there's, there's like a there's, there's an increase on the inside of me. There's something stirring inside of me even now, and, and I, you know, I'm like like so many other people. I, I'm ready to witness what God is going to do. Because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. He's going to get all the glory. Amen. Amen. It's about the glory of God. That's right. Amen. What do you think about this business here? It's awesome. You know, I didn't know what to expect coming up here. And, and these, you know, you know, Greg and and, Carl, and, and their daughter, I mean, it, it, it has been, you know, if you, if you want to uh, get some quality Alabama equipment, if you want to come in and meet some great people, uh, that that you know have a smile on their face and they're going to treat you just like a, a person ought to be treated. This is uh, come here. I mean, uh, and I see some designs. You know, I'm not a clothes clothes Art. designer or any any, any of that stuff. But it it is some very nice looking uh, Bama gear here. Some nice looking shirts that that women particularly are going to enjoy. 
and the guys, you know, we're gonna get our stuff. We, we're gonna get, we're gonna get something. Get, give me a T-shirt. Give me, but but I tell you what, it is a quality family store, and I've been in a lot of them. I've been in a lot of them. Well, Mr. State, two things. Yes. One, to walk up and meet you. We know what's in your heart, and, and, and thank you for taking that, that stance. And, you know, I can't wait for tomorrow. goes to the Father and, and to the people that have been praying uh, for myself and my family. I would not be here have not this power in prayer. You know, Scripture says there is safety in the multitude of counselors. It's in Proverbs. And so I, I have been kept safe by a bunch of people surrounding me. And, 